Uh, well, I actually run two companies. Uh, the first business I started was called Post Runner. Uh, we're a community interest company, so we work with organisations like Youth Point, a charity in Leeds, and Leeds City College, and we help young people go through a work experience programme th through ourselves and then gain a qualification at the same time, so at the end of that they can go out to really build themselves a long-term career kind of employment. Uh, how, what we actually offer as a service to clients is a direct marketing service. Um, so basically we put together campaigns for people who are maybe doing a new store opening, we have a particular offer on, we work with businesses like Subway, uh, Northern Ballet, Leeds Grand Theatre, uh, those type of clients. Uh, and my second venture, which is uh, sort of where I'm spending most of my time at the moment, is uh, I invented a product called Clear Notes. It's the, uh, the world's only transparent and reusable sticky note. Um, so we've sort of launched that to the stationery market uh, earlier this year in talks with the likes of kind of Ryman, Staples and some big office suppliers in the UK and then hopefully taking it across uh, across to Europe next year. So they're the two, uh, the two ventures that I'm involved at the moment, yeah. When I started my business um, two years ago, um, I basically had, had an idea I thought was a, a good idea. Um, I had literally £200 to start the idea. Um, I was in my, my own flat, just working in my bedroom. Um, I went back to the university, Leeds Met, where I was, where I was from, and kind of went through their startup program with business mentors. Uh, they offered like a startup grant and um, kind of like a whole process of just going through some workshops of business planning, marketing, legal stuff, that type of thing. Um, and yeah, it kind of went from there. Really, I kind of just took a bit of a gamble, left the, the job that I was in, and started my company. And thankfully, kind of two years later, we're today. We've got a team of five of us in the office with twenty five freelancers. Um, like I said, we've been going for two years now and turnover in excess of six figures so um, it was kind of just that determination really and I just really kind of went for it when I had the idea and stuff so yeah. Uh, like I said yeah I went, I went back to my, my first book call was to go back to my university really and find out what sort of support there was for anyone starting up a business and their enterprise schemes and they had a real great kind of business startup process where you could get free access to business advisors and mentors uh, there was a group of startup workshops that were kind of over the period of six weeks where you'd have like a sort of dip your toe into different sections of business planning, legal, marketing, that type of stuff. Um, also like finance available startup grants, so there was uh, access to do that. And then off the back of that, I was kind of signposted really to several different kind of enterprise things like Shell Livewire and the Made Entrepreneurs Festival. Um, I think these days lots of kind of further education colleges and universities have got that business support so it's a real great place to start and uh, you know they can help you because it is quite a lonely place to go and start out kind of by yourself I suppose really so um, I guess for me I'm kind of really kind of self-determined to, to, to be successful but one of the things kind of externally which really motivates me is I guess is I mean there's definitely a changing attitude to kind of young entrepreneurs and that it's something positive but when I first decided to start my business, there was a lot of people that kind of maybe look a bit kind of pessimistic about it. Um, people not wanting you to fail, but kind of an extent of not really supporting you in a great deal. And that's what really motivates me really to kind of prove a lot of people wrong and go on to achieve kind of um, you know the, the dreams that I, that I want to. Um, so kind of every day when I'm kind of you know working hard and making sure that we you know secure big deals and go on to do bigger and better things, uh, that's probably one of the things that kind of pushes me on to to really kind of succeed. Yeah. So. Um, well, right at the startup process, probably the biggest thing I would say, and that I learned from an, my first ever idea, which I launched an iPhone application, and one thing I didn't do was I did not do enough uh, thorough market research. I think that's really, really important because um, at the end of the day, you're going to have to invest a lot of kind of time, money, and effort into a, to launching your business. So if you don't put that prior planning in and, and making sure that people kind of need or want what you're doing, um, you know, ultimately, you know, you're likely to, to potentially fail. Whereas if you do real thorough market research, identify that there's a market out there, um, you've got a good chance of success, there's much higher chance that that business will go on to succeed and last over a period of time. So the biggest thing I would say is uh, do, you, do you, you know, your planning and, and good detailed market research, yeah. Um, well, I suppose one of my business mentors is a guy called uh, Paul Lindley. Um, he was the Entrepreneur of the Year in 2011, and he runs a company called Ella's Kitchen. They, they sell baby food right across the world. I'm not sure some of you might know um, who he is, but regardless of anyway, basically what he had is he had a great idea for bringing kind of healthy food to, to young children uh, right across the world in kind of innovative packaging and in different kind of styles of marketing, that type of thing. Um, 
And what really inspires me is that he had that idea and he just went for it. He, lots of people said it's never going to happen. You're going up against some real big players in that industry. He was just a one-man band. But he got meetings with Tesco, Sainsbury's, went out there and really kind of pushed it forward. And now their business is turning over hundreds of millions right across the world, selling in America, all across Europe. Um, and, I mean, that's something really inspiring to me because, you know, you'll come up against a lot of bigger businesses in whatever industry it is you're doing and you're always fighting against those. So to have that determination and attitude to go on and really push your idea and believe it will be success and then actually see that success come around in a few years, um, I suppose that's what inspires me to, to kind of replicate what he does.